Henrico Fire wants you to know that the James River is ever-changing and always presents a risk. But we want you to understand that we support you enjoying it and we want you to enjoy it. Just please understand the hazards that are there and plan accordingly. So here in Henrico, we have three main sections that we consider of the James River. Uh, we have the Upper James, which is mostly recreational boaters with a little bit of rapids. And then as you move into the city, that's mostly rapids. And then down here where we are is the fall line, and that's where it becomes tidal. And so the Lower James is what we're primarily responsible for, for the Marine Response Team. That starts right at the city line near Rockets Landing and then it, our main response area for Henrico is from there down to Turkey Island Creek uh, which is almost Hopewell. Just on the Henrico section we're close to 30 miles of shoreline going from Rockets Landing down to uh, Turkey Island Creek. Clear on the bow. So here on the Lower James We've got commercial traffic, we've got large barges that carry you know, 50 plus containers that go in and out of deep water terminal. We have a gypsum plant out here that has a ocean going vessel that goes up and down the James. And then we have everything down to bass boats, ski boats, kayak clubs come in here. So it's a lot of hazards with some really small boats all the way up to some really large commercial traffic that kind of have to share the river together. So you really have to be paying attention out here for safety. Henrico Division of Fire's response mirrors the division's all hazards capabilities. We're just moving that all hazards capabilities out here on the river. It pretty much falls under four different main areas of response, which would be life safety, the protection of the environment, assisting of law enforcement, and fourth and final would be the economic impact of the river. Here on the Marine Response Team, our main resource is a 32-foot Munson landing craft with twin 350 Mercuries on it. It's a very nice boat that we have that we keep at Rockets Landing. It has the capability to lower the front end where we can load patients, we can load boom for hazmat. The boat has firefighting capabilities, 1,500 gallon per minute pump. We could put out fires that are on small pleasure crafts on the land side or even on large uh, tugboats and shipping traffic that comes up the river. It has top of the line electronics. We can do sonar scans both from the boat and using our tow to raid sonar. We can set up surface supply diving operations that can last hours. Anything that you can think of the fire department is responsible for on the streets, we're also responsible for on the river. Fire, EMS, hazmat, um, and just generally helping the community out here on the river. And the same guys that come to your EMS call and your fire call, they're also the guys that are gonna show up out here on the boat. One of the biggest things that we wanna stress to boaters out there is the wearing of life jackets. You're required to have enough life jackets on your boat for all the passengers on the boat. If you're not a strong swimmer, we highly recommend that you actually wear the life jacket. We'll see lots of people out here fishing and doing those sort of things and they're not wearing their life jacket. It only takes a split second before you find yourself in the water. And if that happens in a situation where you're either knocked unconscious or not expecting it, you may not be able to recover fast enough to swim away. Additionally, good maintenance on your boat is paramount. And when you're coming out here, be prepared if something happens with your motor to be out here for a while in these hot conditions, especially with kids or animals. You want to be prepared should something happen and unexpectedly you're required to stay out here for an extra couple hours. Throughout the summer we try and, and maintain a presence on the water as much as possible. We want people to understand that we're out here to help just like we are when we, we're in a fire engine. If you need help just ask and, and we'll be there to, to support you in whatever way we can.